Hello, everybody. I have to go inside. It's very hot already outside. Oh. Okay. So, Harold, is it cooling down at night in Los Angeles? It's still pretty hot at night. Wow. Yeah, it's it was the Shabbos was crazy. It was like 105 or something. It was nuts. So people, people stayed indoors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You show, yeah, today was uh, tomorrow's going to be 100. Right now it's 81. So did people go to shul? It was very sparse. There were a couple of bar mitzvahs. So I don't know if people went there or whatever, but it, it was very hot. But next Shabbos is going to rain. 77 next Shabbos. <laughs> really? Okay. We're on, we're on Nunvav. We're on Nunvav. Uh, 56. It's it's very hot outside, so I came inside. And for some reason, I have a lot of hay fever. There's pollen here. Yaakov, my son, also, we both had allergies. Uh, there must be a very high pollen count here. Like in places where they have pollen, August, September is often very a very allergic place. And I haven't had hay fever like this in a long time. But Yushalayim, we have to find a place that doesn't have such hay fever. Okay. Nunva. We talked about Umdana. That do we follow someone's Thought the machlok is Rav and Shmuel. Whether when somebody is signing a star, do we assume like if he's a shchivmer, we know what he's, what his what his thoughts are? Shmuel says Tarvayu Ozli Boser Umdana. Both Rav and Rav Nosson they follow, they do believe in the concept of that we we do look at the das of the person. What would what we what would he think, what would we think he would want? And then someone said, halacha like somebody, man damar halacha shapir, man damar ain halacha, because hachanami undin daisuhu, yishumi kruvi daituhu. That means the reason why he is giving money when he's talking about a ksuba by uh, the Kiddushin is he wants to become close to his wife. And here also he's coming close <laughs> to his wife. And therefore there was a Gomar Belibo to give her the Tosefas no matter what. Remember that we were dealing with do you pay pay out only the Iker Ksuba or the Tosefas as well? We assume that he would want to pay the Tosefas because the whole point was getting close to his wife. Yosef Rav Khalina Kamid Rav Yane the Kamar Allah Rabalaza bin Azai. He paskin like Rabalaza bin Azai. Which was Arusa Shakosov Laha Arus Ksuvas with Toysefes. In Gir Shomes, Enuna tells El Ikak Suba Veloy Toysefes. The Psak of Rabalaza bin Azai was if there was only Kiddushin, not Nesui. And she becomes a widow or divorced, she only gets the Ikr Ksuba, not the Toysefes. And in fact, that's how the Rabban Paskets. 
However, the Gemara says, Amr put Kray Krach Levra. Go read the following Pasuk to your son. Ain't Allah Krav Lazarus. Allah is not like you. Allah is like Krav Lazarus. No, Allah is like Krav Lazarus. Allah is like Krav Lazarus. However, Rav Nachman the day Amr Allah ain't Allah Krav Lazarus. We have a, a different source that Rav Nachman said that Allah was not like him. However, Nardoi Mishmed Rav Nachman Amr Allah Krav Lazarus. A different version of Rav Nachman said that the Allah was like Rav Lazarus. <laughs> Vavagab, the lot Rav Nachman Vamer called Dinah the Dain Kram Lazar and Zayah Hachi Vahachi Tevi. Even though Rav Nachman cursed judges who would pass Kram Lazar and Zayah, Filo Hachi Allah Kram Lazar and Zayah. Valoch Lamaisa Kram Lazar and Zayah. That's why the Rambam paskins that a a Arusa, a woman who only had kiddushin and then her husband died or divorced her, only collects the Yikrik Suba, not the Tosefta. <sighs> Boy Ravin. Ravin asks the following theoretical yeah. issues. <laughs> the couple stood under the chuppah, but they didn't have relations yet. So we know what is Nesuin. So we learned some whole Nesuin is the Badekin. Some hold it's walk standing under the chuppah. Some say it's yichud. We do all of them because we want to. We want to cover all of our bases. So, what if there was chuppah but no bia? Because the do we say chibas chuppah koina? That. His anticipation of standing underneath the chuppah with his kala is enough, and he's makna even the tosefes. Remember, we're talking about money here. You have the ikrik suba, and you have all the nadunya, all the extra stuff being thrown into the ksuba. That's the tosefes. Does the husband acquire the tosefes just by? Standing under the chuppah, or no, chibas bia koina. It's only after he lives with his wife. He's he's waiting for the bia. That's why why he added all that money in there. So that's the boy, that's the shaila. Toshma, the Tony Rav Yosef. Shelo kosev la chibas laila harishon. That it's the chibas laila harishon. That the reason why he wrote all that money. Now, I am read. Bishma chibas chupa koine. Hi, no domer laila rishon. Laila rishon. The chupa was done at night, the first night, right? So that's a good shot that all you need is chupa. I don't know. Laila Risha. We am a chibas bia coin. Bia balaila Risha needs to be conveyed to Lessa. There's only one night of chuppah, the first night. But bia happens many nights. That's why Laila Risha, the word, is seen by the Gemara to refer to chuppah. So, Elamai, I could ask you the same thing. Chuppah balaila is to be a mama lesson. There's no special din that you have to make the chuppah at night. You can do the chuppah in the daytime. So Laila Rishon perhaps doesn't refer to Chopa. Ula Tamech Bia Balaila Issa Bia Mama Lessa. Well, I mean, Bia is also not confined to the night. You can do Bia in the daytime. Now, Amar Rava Imaya Bavayas Ofel Mutter. You're not allowed to have Bia in the daytime in the broad daylight. But if you cover the windows, you do it Bitsnias, you can have Bia in the daytime as well. So that haloi kasha orach ura kamashwala, the bia balaila. It's telling us that practically most people have bia at night, not in the daytime. So then we're back to the kasha al chupa kasha. So when you said laila rishon, why do you automatically understand it to mean chupa? So the Gemara says chupa nami loi kasha, kivan distam 
Chupa labia kaim or acharka mashwan balaila. Chupa is meant to allow bia to occur. So the chupa occurs sort of samuch labia. So that's why most chupas are at night, because it's samuch labia. So laila rishon refers to chupa. And the Rambam says, Kivan shenich nasa arusa la chupa, afopish loy nivolo, harei nech sheves ki isha nasu la chodovar, She's considered an Isu, a woman, Lior, she can inherit the Tamala, that if he's a coin, he can go to her funeral. That's as long, this is where having a chupa nida comes in. That it's problematic if a woman is a nida when she goes to chupa, because she would not be Roy Labia, right? That we, we, we go on that chupa, but that, that as long as she's Roy Labia, we are, we, we pass that she's like a Nesua. Boy Ravashi, Nichnas on the chupa pierces Nida Mau. She stands under the chupa. She becomes a Nida. Im tips for chibas chupa koyne. Chupa de chazil lebiya would work. Ava chupa de lo chazil lebiya lo o demoloshna. Maybe makes no difference. Take. So because of the suffix, they paskin since it, it's a dover momenus, she doesn't get the uh, the toisefes ksuba if she was a Nida. You want to schlep money from the husband, but we don't have a, an answer on this halacha. Teiku. So, kol safek, you have to rely on motzim chaver lavaraya. Rabbi Yudah Oimer, Rabbi Yudah said in the Mishnah that even though the standard is 200-100 for a basula and a baula, she could accept less if she wanted. Now, he, she then has to write, okay, right? They have to write a receipt. You have to write a shoiver on the other half that I, I will only accept 100. So, Rabbi Yudah Koitzvin Shoiver. Is it true that Rabbi Yudah says you write a receipt? But none. Me, Shapora makes us choiver. So, in the case of a regular star that documents a loan between Reuven and Shimon, Reuven loaned Shimon's a thousand dollars. Shimon paid back five hundred. Rabbi Yudoimer Yachlib, you have to write a new star chov. You tear up the original one, and you write a new one. I owe you five hundred dollars because the star that says a thousand dollars is not correct anymore, and. If you write a receipt, you got you make the guy who has the receipt hold on to it. What if he loses it? It it could be he'll try to collect payment again with it. So Rab Rabbi Yehuda says you, you don't write a shaver, you write a new star. Rab Yoisi I'm a yichtav lo shaver. You write a receipt. But Rabbi, so it looks like Rabbi Yudol's ain't koisvin shoiver. How can you tell me in our mission that you, that she can re receive less than what the normal ksuvas and writer receive? Om Rav Yirmiya kisher shovarta mi toicha. They don't. They write it on the ksuva itself. Therefore, the Baal doesn't have to hold on to the receipt. They just told the the, the woman holds the ksuva where they wrote on it with Adim that half of it was, that she accepts only half. Bias says, we don't have to learn like that. By a regular loan, we're talking about a guy who paid off $500 of the loan. Maybe somebody will lose the receipt. Maybe somebody will lose the receipt. 
we're concerned that the Balabais will pull out the, the full star and collect the full amount. Here, nothing was given, right? They, they're talking about at the time that they write the Ksuba, the woman says, I'll accept half. So it's Mil Sabalma, he dominates. She's just saying words. She's being Moichel, half of the Ksuba. So, E, not tray, not tray. So, if now they must have documented the Mechil on the star, and it's to her benefit. So, if she watches that, great. She lost out on herself. She should, she should never lose it, put in a safe deposit box. We don't have to worry about that. It's to her benefit. So, in that case, Rabbi Yudah was moided that they write a shoifer. You write a star mechila. Now, Bishop Abay Lama Karab Yemi Lok Tani Shavar Demi Toicha. Abay has to learn this way because it didn't say the, the you write this on the ksuba, so you can't learn that they wrote it on the ksuba. El Rabbi Yemi Amay Tani Lama Karab Abaya. So fine, why didn't Rabbi Yemi learn like Abaya? Gzeir Shavar Dacha to Shavar Da Alma. Since Rabbi Yudah doesn't accept Shavar. Except when it's written Begufa Ksuva, they have to do it that way. Because otherwise it would be a Gzeira, Shoiver here over Shoiver by regular star. Time at the cost of They could cut out, they could, if they write on the Ksuva itself, then she could cut out that part of it. They don't write over the Ksuva itself, but they write, let's say, on the side of the Ksuva or below it. She could cut that out and it doesn't show where she received anything from her husband. They probably I mean, uh, they probably write it right on top of where the A didn't. Yeah, are. right. They can't cut it out. To we're gonna have trend, that yeah. by, by getting by getting. We're gonna see where if we right. make these additions, where where do we write it? In the folds, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. So time of the customer must. So it sounds like this only works if they documented it on writing. I'll I'll pay low. But if she just she's mevatel by, by mouth only, so Rav Yudah wouldn't accept that. Bar says, "Am I why davar sheba mamanu v'sham inan lele Rav Yudah davar davar sheba mamanu t'nal kaya." Things by monetary makes it t'nai. It works. The Tanya, ha oimer li isha. Person says to harayat mikudeshasli, "Al menashe ein lech alai sheir tuzloi." that I don't have to pay you the clothing and owner. Harezim Kudeshat. So number one, these things are minatora. You can't make it tonight against the first. So the Kiddushan is chal utno botel. And we don't follow the tonight. Dear Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir depends. The davar shebemomom on the monitor for owner having a chil that you have relations with your wife. That's not a davar shebemam. So that an oral statement will not work. But by the food and clothing, it's like a nine moment and you're allowed to do it. So why did in the mission did it seem that Rabbi Yudu would only allow it if they wrote it? There's a debate. Is a ksuba a rabbinic document or a derisive document? We don't this is Rabbanon. However, we have this language sometimes that to strengthen a rabbinic law, they made it even stricter than Torah. So Mina Torah, she could make an oral tzai, not write it. But since the whole ksub is a, is a rabbinic document, the Chachamim made a chizuk to, te, to their takona. And if you don't write it from a furish, the tznai doesn't work. Freik the Gemara, Harei Peirus Drabonon. The right that the Baal, the husband, has to eat fruit from the field. That the wife brought in from her from her family's estate, which 
the Chachamim made a takana that he's allowed to eat peirut because he's earning, she has to give him the Maisiya Dayan is also only rabbinic. The law of the Luhu Rabbanachizu. Regarding eating payrolls, we see clearly that the Chachamim didn't do a chizuk with him. Why? Here they did do a chizuk and over there they didn't. Now, where do you see that a Baal eating payrolls from the Nechse Malug is only rabbinic? It's not. Rabbi Yudah Oymer Lo'olam Uochel Peyrol Peyrolls that not only do you eat payrolls, but if you plant those payrolls, you can or you sell them, he, he's entitled to all of that. If they write in the Ksuba, I want nothing to do with your assets or their payrolls or the payroll payrolls forever. The Kaimalon, my Koisev Oymer. He doesn't have to write it, even if he says it. I, the t- an, an or- oral tznai works, even if it's rabbinic, you just told me that by a rabbinic document, you have to do a chizuk and make it that it doesn't work unless you write it. The chachamim made a chizuk for the basic ksuba. Remember, what's going on here, we're debating, can a woman accept 100 instead of 200 or 50 instead of 100? That's the Iker Ksuba. Well, everybody gets that. That's no matter who gets married. But payrolls, not every husband and wife, does the wife bring land into the marriage where the husband's going to eat payroll? That, in fact, was very rare. So we know Chachamim usually only make Xeros when it's Shricha. But it's not a Dover Shricha. Milsa de Shricha of the Rabban and Chizuk. The Iker Ksuba, which everyone gets, they made a Chizuk. They made it that you can't make an oral Tznai. You have to write it. Milsa de Lush Chicha, love the Rabban Chizuk. So eating payrolls, he could say, I don't accept, I don't need it. Dinut Varim, and it would work. Now, donkey drivers that bring into the city produce. It's a it's a dover shchia, and we're going to see there's a rabbinic law, the law of the rabbanu chizuk, and they didn't do a chizuk there. It's not. Come on, come on. You have people coming in by donkey who are carrying produce. To sell. I have new wheat, but my friend has old wheat, which is more valuable. Or my produce has trumas and misers haven't been taken, but my friend, yes. They're not believed. We are worried that they've made a conspiracy that they said, listen, you vouch for my goods in this city, we go to the next city, I'll vouch for your goods. So we don't believe it. Rabbi Yudah says we believe them. Now, even though they've only said it verbally, and it's a Dover Matsu, and we see Rabbi Yudah doesn't demand some kind of chizuk. Om Rabbi Avadai did of Rabbi that din that we don't believe in or believe in, it's all a rabbinic law. There's no suffix, the rabbonon, the raisa, it's clearly rabbonon. I think it's demai. Demai is not as strong as Tremus of Meiser. Right, demai. Yeah. So, vadai <laughs> divreyam, the chacham made a chizu. Suffix to divreyam. But if it's only a suffix, we don't know whether it's the raisa, whether it's rabbonon. There they didn't make a suffix. But by Chamorim, there's a suffix whether they're believed or not. We don't know whether the payrolls, what their status is. The Chacham didn't make a chizu. 
by 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 Ksuba, where we know for sure they made a rabbinic takana, they made a, a chita. Rav Amar He says in general, if it since we're talking about dmai, they were lenient. What's what's dmai? Dmai is you buy something from an honor on an amaret, and we we're not sure did they give tumor meister. So by dmai we're mako. We assume they gave it. If you don't know that the suffix dmai we're mako, you're allowed to eat it. You're allowed to use it to feed the army. And so they're mako by dmai. So it's here as well as an example where they're mako. Otherwise they would not be mako. They'd make them write it formally, like they do by Ksu. Rab Meir Oimer, Kol HaPoiches, Rab Meir said in the Mishnah that whoever um, lives with his wife and accepted what Rabbi Yehuda said, only 100 instead of 200, it's like you're doing a bilaznut. Kol HaPoiches is ki'ilu bilaznut. Kol HaPoiches afilu bitna. If they made it tonight and she accepted, it's still a Bilaz Nus, break the Gemara? Obviously, yes. Al Muksab, it's no bottom. That this type of tonight, which goes against what's written in the Ksupa, is bottom. The Isla. And she gets the full payment. And we ignore the tonight. The kiven the Omer la less lech elamone. If he if he said, I'm only giving you a mon instead of two hundred lo sam chadaita. She does not rely on that. Vayavile bilaso bilas nuts, and that's why. It's like they're living together without a ksuba, and it's considered bilas. But the Gemara says, "Bar Shemilu Rabbi Meir Dama Kol Amasa Mashakos Vatoras No Bato." How can you learn the way you're learning? In every case, the no bot is bato. If you make a, a tznai against the Torah, but Habid Rabban and no Kayim. But if you make a tznai on a rabbinic document, the tznai would work. Comes out. That this seems to be that Rav Meir holds that the Ksuba is Midraban. And the says, no, so Rav Meir Ksuba the Raisa. And that's why the snow is bottle. Because it's if you matna something against the Torah, the, the Tanai will not stand. So you see this debate on whether it's a Ksuba is a rabbinic document or the Raisa document is a machlokas Tanoim. And Rav Meir holds that the Ksuba is the Raisa. Whoever lessens to a basilic from 200, if she agrees, Rav Yosef says you can do it. Rav Yosef if they want, you write a star of 200. The Ikoi is low. She writes back, the is Kabati I'll. I will accept a hundred. Well, I'm on a man of equal service. Let's come out and call commission. So, Freyti Gemara of the Sovereign Rabbi Yosi Rashai. How can Rabbi Yosi say he's permitted to reduce it? Reminu. In Oisin Ksubis Isha, Metatlin and Metikun Oil. A Ksuba is always backed by a piece of land, not Metat. What if a person designated a warehouse of whiskey? For the payment of the ksupa. We don't allow it. Tikkun olam means we're concerned that they're going to get lost. They'll degrade and they won't exist. So land will never go away. What kind of tikkun olam by saying that you can't rely on the top? Now the Gemara doesn't understand. First, before it discusses in 
Tanakama nami ein oisin ko'ama. The Tanakama says ein oisin ko'ama. What is he arguing with? El alavachi kama. Bamed varmamurim. When do we say you can't be miyached metaltalin? Bishlok tibin alavach rayas. If he didn't accept sort of a guarantee that even if they, it, it deteriorated, he has to replace it. About kibbal alavach rayas oisin. The Tanakama is saying that if a person accepted achrayas on the metatalin, you can do it. And that's the language. Who cares if the person accepted achrayas on the metatalin? Number one, they, they, they decrease in value over time and they fluctuate based on market price. So it's not good enough to be maftiach the schum of the tzuba. So the Gemara says, Hashda, Umaha, some the Dilma Paksi, Chayish. There, there's only a concern that maybe the Metata will reduce in value. Yet, Chayish Rav Yoisi, that he was worried that maybe Chayish Rav Yoisi. Is worried about the, the uh, accepting less by Miksupa. Hacha, in a case where he, up front they're saying, I'm going to give you 100 instead of 200. It's not a soft fake that it's going to deteriorate. It's bad idea going to deteriorate. The Vadika Pasa, like Kosher Kane, that it should be also very severe. The more says, Hachi Ashen, there's no comparison. Hasam. We don't know when he gave metalkalin if they're going to deteriorate and their value in order for her to agree to be moichel on what deteriorated. So since she was not prepared to be moichel, we say that it doesn't work. But by Aksuba, where she's hearing it up front, she hears, I'm going to, instead of 200, I'm going to give you 100. And she's Michael anyways. Maybe we'll accept it. Okay, we'll stop here. How can, a, what happens if a man has no assets? So can he back up? How 